Hello, I'm Anya. I'm an artist at Etcher Lab. And today I want to show you the Etcher Mirror, which is a device that allows you to project any image onto any surface. For that, all you have to do is to open the Etcher Mirror app that comes for free with the purchase of the mirror, upload any image onto this app, and place the tablet or phone onto the stand after assembly. And then all you have to do is look to the mirror glass and draw. The Etcher mirror is really easy to use and can be utilized by all kinds of people from kids to adults or even the elderly. So inside the box you will have a small user guide that tells you everything you need to know about the mirror. Please do not throw this away, it has a unique QR code, which I will explain later in this video. The mirror board itself comes in this sleeve. And mine has been new, so it doesn't have the protective film. But when it's brand new, your mirror board will have a protective film on both sides. It can be quite tricky to notice but please make sure that you remove the transparent film on both sides of the mirror, otherwise it's not going to look clean. Sometimes it might even look like it's dirty or a little bit scratched, but it's not scratched, it's the protective film. So please make sure you, move, you remove both sides. And then, this is my favorite part. This is like a tangram, the little pieces that assemble the mirror. And we're just going to quickly assemble it. The Etcher mirror is really easy to assemble, as you can see. Plus, you can use it in two different ways. One, for a better support of small devices such as phones. And this one can be used for bigger devices like tablets. To find it, just go to the Google Play Store for Android or to the Apple Store for iOS and search for the words Etcher Mirror. You can use the app for a limited amount of time before it requires this free activation. When the app asks, just use the scan function within the app itself to scan this unique QR code. This code can be used on five different devices and we only require this activation for security reasons and will not collect any data. After uploading the image you want to use, you can adjust the brightness, use the filters you want, change the image however you want, adjust those as well. You can reflect it, rotate it, use grids, lock it when you're happy with it and you can even zoom in or zoom out until you're satisfied with the image position once you're satisfied feel free to save the drawing to your own album so you don't lose it if you want to draw bigger you can just zoom in the image as much as you like and then you can draw by parts just like I'm doing in this video. First, you want to make sure that you remove the film on both sides of the mirror board. The mirror board comes with film on each side for the protection of the materials. Please make sure that your tablet or phone is properly resting on the stand. When you're placing the mirror board, ensure that the cut corner is on the right position. If the projection of the image isn't clear, please make sure that the brightness of the screen within the app itself or the device is set to a comfortable level. If you have both brightness on maximum and you still cannot see the image, it's probably because you're drawing on a very 
lit environment and you need to go to somewhere where the light is not as strong. Please confirm if the mirror and the surface are on the same horizontal plane. Because you can project any image, any photo, any lettering onto any surface, such as paper, black paper, or fabric, you can use this device to do literally anything that comes to mind. So a few examples are wood carving. I know people who like to project their own designs onto wood to then mark the carvings and carve out the wood from it later. I know some tattoo artists who use this to work on their tattoos, people who use it for lettering, for bullet journaling, for tracing your own images and painting them, to project your own drawings onto watercolor paper and then paint on top of it, for example. I personally use it to blow up tiny thumbnails that I draw and then draw them bigger. So there's, as you can see, a bunch of different things you can do with the Etcher Mirror. I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope it was clear. If you do have any questions, please just email us at hello at etcherlab.com and we would love to know what you will use this mirror for, so just shoot us a message on the comment section below and let us know. Thank you so much.